I just had a somewhat disturbing thought, my friends. After spending easily half an hour going ahead and constructing a very intricate series of logs and sticks randomly stuck together in an attempt to go ahead and get our Korok friend. Ah. trying to get you little buddy that your name is now going to be little buddy just just little buddy with an extra underline under it <sighs> but that's okay because we indeed are korok um hmm korok Korok, the Korok Census Bureau at the moment, or I guess we're doing a census of the Koroks as Korok Field Biologist, and sometimes you end up chasing your own tail and barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> In fact, that's actually... <laughs> I'm gonna name you Bark, actually. Forget Little Bunny. I think a Bark is a much better name, and I really like it because we'll go ahead and say that I was indeed barking up the wrong tree. Hmm, I see. All right, all right. Uh, well then. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to our adventures here in Tears of the Korok, where we have just discovered Korok number 57, while still not having returned to Lookout Landing in a very, very, very long time. Uh, but that's alright because we've discovered so much. We have flown yeah. on the backs of dragons. We have found out that there is something absolutely positively terrifying. Oh, hello. Hi. Uh, in the depths that can apparently challenge a dragon to a fight, which was quite alarming. Um, I just discovered some really cool looking blue cliffs. What the heck? That's so interesting. Oh, I wonder where the tower is around here. Maybe if I can reach it from over here, we'll be able to go ahead and have yet another part of... <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Maybe I'll be able to go ahead and have yet another part of... Um, Okay, I was all kind of hoping there was going to be like a... Well, not really hoping there was going to be a giant frog under there. Because we found a giant frog in the depths. And uh, I'm willing to leave him alone. Oh. And one of those guys. You know what? Your your reward wasn't really worth it, friend. Because I bet you just have a, like an old sword that has a random stick stuck to it. Wait, no. He actually has like a magic wand. Oh, man. Really? Ah. <sighs> Well, the good news is we've discovered that uh, using ice on those who happen to have a little bit of an electric touch seems to be somewhat effective. And we actually have figured out how to transform choo-choo jelly. I'm so tickled about that. We have figured out how to make choo-choo jelly into different elemental types of jelly. So I wonder, is this worth the risk? Maybe? He's kind of wiggly, and I'm still kind of like learning how to be good with this bow and arrow, but maybe I can make a little prediction. Aww. Oh, that actually was a lot closer than I thought it would be. <laughs> Aw, man. Okay. No, no, no. I'm okay with, I'm okay with using this up. If it means that I can... <sighs> then he's just... Okay, fine. Here, maybe we can use this keys eyeball make him hold still for a, a gosh darn second oh or maybe we could just whop him hmm i mean that's always an option always a very interesting option especially because our our bow happens to be so powerful <laughs> i don't know if that's really doing us any good but, you know, at least it's working. And then he, is he just going to carry on on his merry way or... Oh, oh, he's actually almost dead. Nice. Okay. Don't mind if I do. For the low, low price of a few key eyeballs, being able to go ahead and get myself potentially a magic wand. Yes. Hello. The topaz rod, a small and intensely magic rod. It's said to have been wielded by an ancient magician who awoke the latent power on gems. Cool! So I'm totally okay with going ahead and 
Okay, the cannon spirit was actually a lot cooler than I was expecting. Let's let's settle for the soldier's broadsword. Even though it has that excellent quick charge, I'm just I'm curious. I don't know if the topaz rod is going to be that useful for us. And no, I am not getting rid of the palm fruit bat. It is an important uh, addition to our adventures. Oh, oh, never mind. That's really useful to us. <laughs> I think that could be a lot of fun. I also think I could probably get myself in a lot of trouble with that. So let's go ahead and maybe carry around our blue Boko Reaper. A lot more humble yeah. of a weapon, perhaps. But we grow from accepting our humility and also possibly keep ourselves alive because I am 99% sure I no longer have any very friendly, very helpful fairies. I owe that great fairy. I owe her that that flute player that she wants to listen to because like what the heck because of her i have been able to accomplish so much i have been able to survive well i say because of her but i i mean i'm pretty sure she's in charge of like all the little fairies or something aha interesting noted come along come along uh, fellow field pixel biologist, please observe there in the waters. There is a octo whopper. I, I perhaps am a little fuzzy on the different subspecies of octo whopper at the moment. Um, but we'll just go ahead and ignore that one. And we'll come on over here and get a quick ride up because maybe we'll be able to see something cool. And I did see that there's a petroglyph, and I know that there is at least a couple Korok nearby that we do want to aim for. So there's the petroglyph. We might get a good view of wherever we can possibly find a hidden memory in it. And then I wanted to see how high this rock would take us. Because it seems like there's a lot going on over here. Aha! Oh, there's another rock. Interesting. Well, we'll go ahead and we'll study this petroglyph for just a moment. I see where the tower is. That's the other thing I wanted to try to aim for. And if we're up here, aha, look, there's a filled tier over in this direction. I wonder if, oh, I think the, is the pool just like in the middle? Hmm. There might be a Korok. There we go. Oh, nope, I landed in it. <laughs> All right, um, actually, here we are, friends. Pretty sure this is going to be something important. Yeah. About time we learned a little bit more about the story of what has happened to Princess Zelda and potentially the rest of the land. I suppose a calamity would be an ex excellent example of the worldwide climate change. Relevant. Relevant to our interests. King Raru. Hmm. We just received word that the last free village in the Gerudu Desert has fallen. Hmm. <sighs> At this rate, the Demon King's army will overwhelm us. I understand. Our only hope is for me to defeat the Demon King. <laughs> Raru. The Demon King. He is Who not someone you? you can stop by yourself. <sighs> Where's Princess... Or the Queen? But Queen Sophia. You are not alone. You have the Gerudo, <laughs> Goron, Zora, and Rito leaders, as well as Zelda. Oh, wow. Okay. A whole and crew. of course, you can count on me. Where are you? Where is Sophia? Is that like your sister? An advisor? There's something I'd like to show you all. Ooh. Sorry, I have to talk so much. Otherwise, you might get a copyright strike. But you, you didn't hear that. I'm breaking the immersion. Are we going to see some sort of secret weapon? That will, oh, oh. Wait, are there four more of those tears? Secret, secret 
and stones. Hmm. Or is this when he gives them to Stand with everyone? Me. I need all your aid. Waron, Perudo, Rito. Oh, this is when he gives them to them. So they didn't already have them. I think that this is what drove everyone together. I see. Oh, that's so pretty. there's a trade-off to that power and Zelda made that allegiance promise too didn't she though I wonder if she's gonna have to find out that like there's a conflict between her desire to return to her time and her ability to save the future because maybe she needs to stay there holy cow okay goosebumps Wow, okay. Yeah. Okay. I feel really, like, I feel really, like that was, that was a little, that was a little serious, you know? I don't really want to, like, just tromp all over that moment. So maybe we'll look at the animals for just a second. Admire what is probably clearly a Korok hanging out over there. We'll go pick some fruit and, and just... I wonder what it would be like to make that kind of promise. I guess in a way, like, my marriage vows to my beloved husband. They were private, we just... We were home alone waiting for the officiant to come on to Zoom to marry us because it was during a time where we didn't know what would happen to anyone. <laughs> April of 2020. And I just remember sitting side by side holding each other's hands and promising that whatever happened in a time in the world and in our life where everything was uncertain, that we would be by each other's side. So I, I get it. I get making a promise that serious. Because one day, you do find yourself wondering what the point of all of it is. One day, you do find yourself wondering what the purpose your life could have is. And everyone's going to find that in something different. But I, personally, am very grateful that I have found it, to be honest, in sharing my life with my beloved husband, Chips, and also in exploring through the world of stories and sharing my passion for how beautiful this world is with everyone through whatever avenue and medium I, I can find. Awe and wonder are all around us, but that doesn't mean what makes you feel full of awe and joy is going to be the same as what works for someone else. And I actually think that's part of the beauty. So, now that I've had uh, my serious moment and spooked a fox, let's go ahead and see if there is indeed a Korok hiding. Oh, what's that? Huh, see if I was a Korok, that would have been an excellent place to hide. Kind of thoughtful about the stone down here. Again, like, some Koroks might be like, oh yes, I'm absolutely going to hide right down inside of the petroglyph. But that's a little bit on the nose. That's a little bit on the nose. Maybe you want to be a Korok who's a little bit difficult to find. Maybe you want to go ahead and please tell me that's just a normal hawk. Oh, hey! Is that... Is that Nydra? Nydra, hi! 
Gosh, I wouldn't mind another, like, ride on a dragon back about now, but I, again, we do have some Korok to find. What? Oh my gosh, I was so confused about, like, what kind of weird cave art we had just stumbled upon. <laughs> But of course, just as I get over to these sticky frogs to go ahead and start collecting them. Um, and interestingly, I think what may have happened here is that... Okay, this is kind of adorable, by the way. But I think what may have happened here is that the sticky frogs evolved in an area that was just very slick. And so to them, this is completely normal weather. And they... they I think... Basically, the environment came before the frog, and then the frog evolved to fill the niche that it was needed to hold on to things. Because that also makes a lot of sense. Because, you know, if you're a sticky frog and you're able to cling to surfaces that apparently are always covered in rain, then you're able to stay in a place away from a place the, the, the predators that might be coming for you. Like me. Like me. Not even gonna lie. Well, you know, it's not a lie because we Got him. Because <laughs> we're just going to give the frogs a bath. That's all. It's not like we're going to cook them in a pot that goes ring a ding 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 and whoosh whoosh like and pops up really cutely. That's not what's going to happen to these frogs. We're just going to give them a little bath. That's all. But all right. Now that we've gone ahead and had our fun, let's check in on that Korok and... Then I guess we're gonna take a peek. I do know where there's a couple more Koroks hiding. And we do need to go ahead and take a peek looking for them as well. Over at the river. And from there we might try to find our way over to where the tower is. Because being able to get our hands on another bit of the map of Hyrule will be one more step that I can go ahead and wave around in Pura's face to swear that I was actually on track and, and doing something I was supposed to be doing, boss. Totally. Like, don't worry about it, boss. See? Totally. Okay, also, I'm kind of wondering, does my fan work on these leaves? No. Th those are actually plants, not leaves. That's fine. Alright. Give me a little yeah. quack. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed we found you. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to name this one Nautilus. Because this one happens to be hiding inside of a Nautilus petroglyph. And there you go, Nautilus. I'm not going to go ahead and like leave you to have to deal with having something dropped on your head. I don't think there's going to be any other Koroks in here. And I can't remember. I don't think I've ever run into any monsters over here. Perhaps there's something about the area that prevents it. Just maybe even a nod of respect to the fact that this was a place that once upon a time some of the most famous kings and queens of Hyrule left their mark. All right, I probably need to start working my way towards like civilization because I just thought that pine tree was a person. I almost, I almost let out a little bit of a, oh, you know, scream may be a strong word for the sound I was about to make, but it also might be an accurate one. <laughs> and there you are, you little tricky one. Hey, Bark. Leaving me barking up the wrong tree. That's fine. That's fine. All right, let's get a good view of the lay of the land. And then I just might sit down and look at the moon for a little while. If I can. Through, you know, the whole, the whole can't see where we're going thing. But I might do that so I can just have a little think about what it's like to make a big promise to someone. And the way that it can really shape your entire world and give you a sense of purpose. Because there'll, there'll come a time in everybody's life where they really need to feel like there's a reason for the things that they do that means something more than just passing the days or making sure that you have a roof over your head. And, you know, I think that love is an excellent way to go ahead and celebrate that. And also, I think I'm going to... <sighs> You know, just take a little breather in just a moment. Maybe maybe some, some meditation. Maybe some yoga. Maybe some wiggling over to the side where maybe I won't get blown up by this choo-choo. And then when we come back, we'll, we'll be able to leave behind 
the much more serious and thoughtful and adorable conversations I was trying to have <laughs> before we have it could literally blow up in our face. So, Koroks! I spy with my little eye some Koroks, and we'll go chase them down next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye!